Welcome to Unbox Things. We have the August 2015 um, Japan Crate, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get down to it. We are going to try this way of looking at it. So you don't have to see my ugly mug. And that way, hopefully you get a better look at what is inside. All right, let's see what is inside our August 2015 Japan Crate. This box was delivered, um, let's see, a couple, couple weeks ago. Oh look, you see Bunsen napping. Um, Again, Japanese candy delivered monthly. Um, they love you. And your hashtags and your Twitter account. Uh, this is the large box. So let's see what is inside. Ooh, pretty. Again, they gave you the Japan Crate magazine. And this is a very colorful box. Check that out. It's, it's very colorful. Um, it's the premium box. Um, if we take a look, again, this is red, like a traditional, like a traditional Japanese manga. So you read from uh, right to left. And luckily, this Japan Crate magazine also acts as our guide to what's inside the Japan crate. Alrighty. So it's interesting. Yeah, you see this. I can't remember if I told you this last time. They have a lot of the Shin Chan stuff and the, the author of Shin Chan uh, passed away a couple of years ago, dying on the side of a mountain. In any event, here we go. Let's take a look. I'm gonna open this thing up and we will go through this box and see what is inside this August 2015 Japan Crate. Um, I'd just like to show you again. We'll have a picture of this up on unboxthings.com. Uh, the Japan Crate is separated in three boxes. The mini, the original size. So the original has all of these plus the contents of the mini. And then the premium box, which has these extra goodies plus the stuff in the original, plus the stuff in the mini. Okay, so first thing we have this. All right. This is Pokemon Puzzle Gum. Pokemon Puzzle Gum. Enjoy some gum while you piece together your Pokemon sticker puzzle. Oh, yeah, sorry for the background. I was in the middle of starting to watch the anime Gangsta, um, which is for this season, uh, 2015 season, it's really good. Uh, if you get the chance, it is for adults. Take a look at it, you'll probably enjoy it. Uh, this next thing uh, is the Puzzle and Dragons Bakura Man Wafer. Fans of P&D Puzzles and Dragons or Bakura Man will recognize some of these characters. A tasty chocolate wafer with collectible playing cards. So there's the front. Here's your back. That's interesting. Uh, I hmm. Not sure which one this is. Let's come back to this one. We have, whoa, hello, look at that. I love these things. You don't really see many of these things. Mario Kart gum. Put on your driving gloves and grab a few of these 10 individual gums with a different character or cart on each one. That's pretty interesting. Next we have you know, trying to find these things is <laughs> this thing is called Crackling Cotton. Fluffy grape cotton candy with an explosive pop rocks kick. A truly unique candy. So 
It is Pop Rocks in cotton candy. Okay, I'm tempted. So tempted. Tempted to try this. Uh, here we go. Shin Chan. Crayon Shin Chan candy. Crayon colored, Ramun flavored hard candy. Shin Chan has his own anime and manga. See page seven for more. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, so many things in here. Oh, guess what? We've got more pretz. If you guys have seen, if you guys have seen my um, Scotch Box review, you'll see that there was a ton of pretz inside there. And this, coincidentally, just like in the Scotch Box for um, August 2015, is the Thai Tom Yum flavored um, pretz. And yeah, that thing freaks me out. Don't like seafood. So I don't know if this thing tastes like seafood. And that sort of like freaked me out in my, my scotch box. But there you are. Pretz. It's like a more savory pocky. Then we have, okay, I love this. This thing is called, here's a back, here's the front. This thing is called, wow, such banana? <laughs> a chocolate cream filled marshmallow banana with a hilarious name. Wow, such banana. Nice. Let us pull this one out. This is, take a good look, Shua Shua soda candy. Shua Shua is the second, uh, Shua Shua is the sound of fizz in a soda. Really? So it's Shua Shua. Wait for the center to find out how this candy got its name. Chua, chua, schwa, schwa. Okay, this one I gotta figure out which one this is. Um, because I'm not exactly sure. Um, okay, I think this is soda mixing jelly beans. Five flavors of soda in tasty jelly bean form. Mix and match flavors to create your own soda flavor. So kind of like Jelly Bellies, except in soda form. See, right here, typically with these like flavor candies that come like this, with these different flavors, they give you small recipes on the back that tell you what, what you can mix. Oh uh, yeah, my ability to read Japanese is horrible, so I cannot tell you how to mix them. Uh, let us pick out this chocolate puka crispy pretzel biscuit shells filled with creamy chocolate goodness that's interesting that's neat you got different shapes uh, gotta be honest with you I keep thinking whenever they say that it's gonna be um, stuffed with chocolate or, or filled with chocolate I keep thinking there's gonna be like this nice gooey chocolate burst in my mouth but in all honesty, you can't really have that because of the cracker or the cookie. So it always comes out a little dry. Uh, yeah, what can you do? Next, we have <laughs> Japanese barbecue scones. Like Cheetos, but better. We think the Japanese barbecue flavor is better than the American. What do you think? Seriously? You're going to go that? You're going to go go nationalistic on us? This ethnocentrism saying that you're okay, but theirs does have a cat on it. Uh, well, I guess technically it has two cats, but still. So barbecue flavored Cheetos. Uh, uh, don't know what to say about that. Okay, so this is interesting. Well, I'll get back to this soon enough. Next, second to last, we have the Choco DIY. It's called Choco Room. C-H-O-C-O-R-O-O-M DIY. So do it yourself. A popular snack turned DIY kit. See page 10 for instructions. If we go to page 10 on this thing, there are your instructions. Um, interesting. Uh, 
I never do these chocolate or these these do-it-yourself kits. I always give them to my niece, mainly because I don't have the patience for them. Finally, that is just sort of sad when you think about it. So finally, oh, so this is funny. If you look at this crayon Shin-Chan, and I'm gonna, uh, so look at this crayon Shin-Chan, right? And there's the packaging right there, it's right here. Later on in the, the book, has instructions, and this thing, crayon Shin-Chan, there's a little tab right here. When you pull it, you're pulling down his pants. <laughs> Because that's what he's known for. So kind of crude humor. Kind of crude but funny potty humor. Finally we have, check that out. Creamy melon soda. Delicious and creamy soda with a nice melon flavor. That sounds delicious. Melon might be your new favorite soda flavor. I, I love, I love honeydew melon and whatnot. So uh, this is by Sangria. There you have it. And that, my friends, was the August 2015 Japan crate. Now, one of the things I don't want to come back to was because I had troubles with this. Uh, because here we have the soda mixing jelly beans. Packaging's a little different. So I was a little confused with that. And the other thing, which I kind of feel sort of ripped off on, and especially since I got this in the scotch box, and I don't like seafood, and the mere thought that this might actually taste like something with shrimp on it kind of kind of freaks me out. I got this Tom Yum soup flavored pretz, but here they're telling me that I have soy sauce pretz. Man, I would so much rather enjoy that. Crunchy biscuit sticks with a tangy soy sauce glaze, a perfectly savory snack. And instead, I got shrimp pretz. Ugh. But there you go. Um, I I'm enjoying Japan crate. Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I get. Ooh, they got the Segoy crate. You could get the Segoy crate. Segoy crate is lucky winners will get one. Um, some lucky winner. Don't know who. But. Uh, Yeah, I'm enjoying this, um, especially with the Segoy crate. It I, you can win a panda game, or or and all this other neat stuff inside it. Does it justify the purchase? Right now, it does because I, I'm looking at all of this. It seems like Japan crate really has its stuff together in terms of putting together a box that is colorful. Um, has a variety of flavors and whatnot inside and really is engaging. So I give I give this month's Japan Crate a thumbs up. I, I don't think I've ever given them a bad review. And you know, I pay for these boxes myself. Uh, you know, they don't pay me to, to say any of this stuff, and honestly, I don't think there are enough of you out there to that that would actually make a difference, but um, in any event, you know, I buy this myself, so so I think this is a great value for what you're getting. Um, I, I there are other boxes out there that you can get. Scotch box is affordable, but if if you saw the uh, August 2015 Scotch box, you saw that you got three boxes of pretz inside. That was just like maybe two boxes too many for me. Um, and and again, this has a do-it-yourself kit has a bunch of um, anime and video game stuff and has items that you're familiar with Mario Pokemon um, so yeah, I consider this a good buy will I keep getting Japan Crate um, gonna be honest with you this is technically my last Japan Crate that I'm gonna get um, however I do also know how subscription boxes work and I wouldn't be surprised if somehow I wound up with four more next month uh, so there you have it. Japan Crate, August 2015. Uh, I consider it a good buy. If you're looking to get something as a gift for someone, uh, then by all means, go for Japan Crate. This would make a great surprise gift for somebody just to get. And because and, you get a bunch of the weirdness. You get, you know, some of the gachapans, uh, the toys and stuff. 
um, and you get a bunch of the, the really interesting snacks, not just candies. Expand Creek, August 2015. All right, y'all take care. Thank you for watching Unbox Things. Check out our website, http colon slash slash unboxthings.com.